Convicted drug dealer John Macris has reportedly been shot dead in Greece. The gunman follows him. It was difficult to solve the Macris murder case. Sure, at least it wasn't easy. I've been doing a podcast called Bikies Inc. Uh, we've been looking at bikey gangs across Australia, but in episode five, we look at what happens when bikies go overseas. And we've got some exclusive footage uh, of John Macris's murder. Now, this, this footage has never been seen before. We managed to get a copy of it from Greece. It's CCTV footage of John walking out of his garage and to sadly be murdered. It's, it's quite concerning. What sort of stands out in the footage is John actually tried to get away. Now, he was a father of, of two kids in Greece and he had other children in Australia from previous relationships. And he's just gunned down in cold blood. Uh, and, and what sort of struck me was how he did try to, to run for his life and the gunman comes up and shoots him from, from less than a metre away and then speeds off and almost you know, runs, over, runs him over. It, it, it's, it's pretty grim. So John was a Sydney underworld figure. Uh, he was some daring reports of how big a player he was in, in Sydney. Uh, but he moved to Greece to start a new life uh, in, the, in about 2013 and he sort of was there, he started a security business, he was running nightclubs, he managed to keep getting on with life. He had two kids, he married Victoria Carita, who was a reality star uh, in Greece and was also a former Playboy, Playboy model. She was basically a bit of a celebrity in town. They had a very lovely house in Vula, um, overlooking the Mediterranean, and, and life was pretty stable. The Greek police say that there was nothing that they have evidence of of, of crime he was involved in. Uh, but he's been gunned down by what the court found was two Bulgarian brothers in a hit and our sources say that it may have been linked to the outlaws by his in Canada. So the footage really is a, a new insight into exactly how casual and, and, and how sort of little threat John may have thought he was under. Now in court in Greece it was found that these these killers had actually followed him for 19 days so they've been tailing him for a long time but either he didn't know or or they perhaps they were good at it but he just walks out and uh, you know, presses the button to get into his little small looks like a smart car it's a little black very very small car which suits the roads there in Greece and he, he had a double garage in the house which you know, was all secure he could have just gone in from there so to me it strikes me that he was very relaxed because he was going to the car that was parked on the street and not one that was in the secure garage. So Jay Malcoon was the president of the Comancheros in Melbourne. He was a big player, he, he'd done a bit of time for, a fair bit of time rather, for heroin importation uh, and then he got out and was running the Comancheros but moved overseas to Dubai and then went to Greece as well. So he was living in the same town as Macris. Um, they also went to the same gym and this is where the, the, their stories collided. Uh, Macris was at the mega gym in Athens. I managed to go there when I was uh, working overseas as correspondent. And it's a really big flashy gym on the side of a main highway. Uh, and he went there every day, m most of the time. And you know, bikies like to keep fit, look after their image. It's part of being Part of being a bike, he used to be a big guy. Um, and Jay was there and he, he'd parked his car as he usually would in the car park. And this is about three months after Macris was killed. And uh, the car blew up. It's just oh, shocking footage. We, you know, we've got witnesses on the actual podcast who, who say there was this plume of smoke. They, there was nothing like they'd ever seen before. But bizarrely and, and miraculously, Melcoon survived. Now, there's a suggestion that he may have survived because he had an Australian car. and it was actually a right-hand drive. Now, the bomb was apparently placed under the left-hand side of the car, which is the driver's side, and that may have saved him. But either way, he's had some serious injuries, and he's back in Australia now, but we understand he's still receiving treatment. If you want to hear more, check out bikeysinc.com.au. That's bikeysinc.com.au uh, for the full podcast and all the episodes. <laughs>